am Jose Khabui Lelo Moroka of Barolombo Silika in Tabanchu Free State Province, South Africa. And today we are at Noha's Post Village, one of the 42 villages in Tabanchu that I preside over to harvest wheat. We took Noha's Post Village to want to make it a model village to ensure and, and illustrate how agriculture can liberate our people. Agriculture is life. Without food, without food security, we cannot survive. We want to see Tabanchu being a model place of what agriculture can do. And we hope that we shall be uh, one of the areas within the country and even the continent that leads in agriculture. So we are thankful to the partners, Ag AfriForum, uh, Pioneer, SAI, and all the role players, especially the community of Noha's Post as well, who have taken the lead to show that it is all possible. We are saying, let us teach the people who own the land to know how to manage the land, to know how to optimally utilize the land that they uh, possess. This is the second grain harvest at Nuagas Post. We, during the previous summer season, we also harvested maize. Now we are doing these collaborative projects with SAI and a community of the Baru Longbo Seleka because we want our children and their children to peacefully coexist in Southern Africa. And the only way to ensure peaceful coexistence is to build good relationships between different cultural communities. And of course, at the same time, strengthen community self-sufficiency and also supply of food, because that ensures stability and peaceful coexistence in the long run. It is important for SAI to be involved with these communities to teach them the benefits of the commercial farming industry. With incredible challenges that we had through the year last year, we couldn't plant in summertime. Uh, there was heavy rains and also the rivers were flooding, so we didn't have any access uh, to come here. As you can see behind me, we've got the fortunate opportunity to start harvesting the wheat uh, today. SAI as a family farm network uh, is the only agricultural organization that I know of in South Africa that is working hard and making an impact on grassroots levels.